Hi, I'm Corey Boggs, Wellness Director and Lead Trainer at Benefitness. Here on Benefitness's channel, we do 30 minute workouts, 10 minute workouts, also some nutritional tips and tricks. A few weeks back, we gave a Nutritional 101 seminar to one of our corporate clients. It was such a success that we decided that we would like to present it to you. It was about a 30 minute talk, and so we thought that we would break it down into a three part series, starting with part one today, which we'll be discussing traffic light eating. I will go into detail with that, so let's just jump right in. I wanna ask you the question, what is healthy? What does it mean to you to be healthy? Well, it's not actually to be healthy. Healthy is not a state, it is a lifestyle. It is the choices that you make day in and day out to achieve the goal you want to perform at your best. So what does your body need? What fuel will make it thrive? When you go to a gas station to fill up your car, you obviously would not put window cleaner, water, or even some juice in it to make it go, right? Just like a car, your body needs the right fuel to perform at its best. This is true for everyone, regardless of your stage of life. Your body receives fuel from the food you eat. During this class, we're gonna talk about the right amount and different kinds of fuel your body needs. Simply by paying attention and being careful about what you put in your body, you'll be on the journey of either getting lean, losing fat, or even just maintaining a healthy life. Let's begin with the green light. We all know that a green light means go. And we can use that same analogy with the food you eat. You can go eat as many of these as you would like without really worrying about whether you're gonna be eating too much, should I not eat this, am I consuming too many calories? Mostly because these are all lower in calories, very high in nutrients, they are all grown from the ground and not manufactured. So what does that mean? You can probably figure out that this, these are all fruits and vegetables. They're very high in nutrients. You will get what your body needs by consuming these without over consuming the calories and maybe putting on excess weight or not getting enough energy for the day. So next is the yellow light. What does a yellow light mean? It means to slow down. It is okay to eat these foods every day, but don't eat too much. You wanna slow down and think about how much you're actually putting in your body. These foods are often higher in calories, higher in fat or sugar than green light foods. Green light foods are fresh. They're grown from the ground. They can be eaten raw, straight from the earth. However, yellow light foods have to be broken down or processed a little bit more. So your proteins or your animal foods, they have to be killed and then cooked. Or if you're eating carbohydrates such as grains or beans, they have to be picked, processed, and then cooked again. So you just want to be mindful about not eating too many much of this food if you want to feel your best, lose weight, or get a little bit stronger. The final one is the red light. In the traffic light eating system, the red light means to stop and think. I want you to consider maybe making a different choice or just eating a smaller portion if you choose to consume these foods. They are often higher in sugar, higher in fat, very low in nutrients, or maybe even have artificial flavorings or trans fats or hydrogenated oils. All this stuff does not benefit your body. So these foods, if you wanna think about um, what they would be, most likely they're fried foods, highly processed foods like baked goods, pizzas, pastries, all those things that you know deep down you probably shouldn't be eating. So in the end, I just want you to stop and either don't eat these at all or think twice about making a different decision. So to overview the traffic light eating system, it's not something, a list of foods that you can or cannot eat, it's just making mindful decisions and which ones are okay to eat a lot of, which ones are okay to eat a little of, and which ones are okay to eat very little or none at all. So green light, your vegetables, your fruits, you can eat as much of these as you like, getting high nutrients, the energy you need to perform at your best. 
Yellow light foods are still good for you. Don't get me wrong. It's not that you don't want to eat things. They're very good in nutrients. You just don't want to eat too much of them because they are more processed, higher in calories. And then red light foods, please consider twice about eating these foods. Most likely don't eat them at all or just very little every so often, not a ton. Today, I gave you a very brief overview of the traffic light eating system. I wanted to give you an idea of the fuel you need to be put in your body to perform at its best. What you can put in to get great results and what you can put in that you should probably refrain from to not get great results. Join me next time when I break down protein, fats, and carbs. Make sure to like our video, leave feedback or questions if you have them, and subscribe to our channel. And check out our videos. We are posting workouts weekly. We'll see you next time.